Hey folks, welcome back to the Repedia world and I am Abhinay Gupta and today again we will continue with the Securities and Exchange Board of India, the SEBI Act 1992, right? So in the previous lecture, right, we have had a discussion about the Section 11D. Next, I would also want to discuss with you Section 12A. It's a small section, we'll just cover it along with the flow and then move on to Section 15 in the next lecture, right? So what does section 12a has to say? It says it's a prohibition of manipulative and deceptive devices inside a trading and substantial acquisition of securities or control. Oh my god, it's too much, right? Just understand, it's a prohibition of manipulative and deceptive device which is inside a trading, etc. 12a, right? So what we need to understand in this section is how is SEBI prohibiting the use of these manipulative and deceptive devices? So what SEBI says is that no person no person shall either directly or indirectly use or employ any deceptive device. So if we elaborate, so it says that any person is not allowed from this board to use or employ in connection with the issue, purchase, sale of security which are listed or which are proposed to be listed in stock exchange. They are not supposed to issue, use any manipulative device or a deceptive device that would affect the issue, that would affect their uh, purchase in the market right and they're not also allowed to intervene with any provisions of the act right no contravention with any provision of the act will also be allowed so this is what service says that you are not supposed to directly indirectly employ this item when you are dealing in the stock over the stock exchange or for any listed company either in sale purchase transfer or anything of a security right second it says again that no person should be involved in any defraud that means you should not employ any device any scheme any artifice to defraud in connection with the issue or dealing in securities right again for the company which are already listed or even which are proposed to be listed that means the shares will come up right so don't prepare for any false activities over there right second it says that no person shall directly indirectly engage in any act any practice any course of business which operates or would operate as fraud or which would deceit upon a person. So when you are dealing in the stock exchange, you are dealing in the securities of the listed companies, right? They say you should not be contravening with any provisions which are already given there. When we talk about getting ahead with any act or practice which would operate as fraud and try to deceit the investors also, means understand, for example, there is a company which is just coming up. Not a big banner, not a big name, not a big backup, nothing. But what did the company do that before coming into the market, that company, right, advertised itself. Big holdings, big names, big announcements. This is what we are going to do. That has, that has been taken over. This has been done. That has been done. And the investors, they see, oh, there's something big coming. Now, if this company is so aggressive, the shares will go high. The company will win profit. And then the company issues the share. They all buy and the company takes the money and runs away. So that is a deceptive thing. Right? So text, yeah, I could have explained. I was explaining that. But again, why, by the time I came over here, I understood that you need to understand, right? Connect. So this is the connect. So you should not be allowed to do any of these kind of activity directly or indirectly. Now you're getting the point? Right? Then say nobody should be involving or engaging themselves into insider trading. So I have a company, my shares are being listed, now shares are being purchased and I get into insider trading. So when the shares are low, I buy the shares, hike the price and sell it off. I don't hike the price, hike the price means insider trading, I had price sensitive information, I knew the price is going to hike, right, that is an example, right. Plus, they don't want any person to deal in the insider information as well, right. Now what is insider information? I am the director of the company. Auditors are already on their place, they are working on something, right? As I shared the same example earlier as well, that if my results are going to come out, the quarterly results, and the results are showing an upward graph, my share prices are bound to rise. So what I do? I take up majority of the share from the market. And when the price goes up, I sell it off. Obviously, when I'm pulling out shares from the market, the price automatically goes up a bit. Right, but after the results, the price will go up even higher. 
so it's sell it then because the public is going to see right that the company is going high and everything is going good they sell it off that is insider trading then they will not allow any person directly and directly to hold any substantial acquisition they will not allow them to acquire control any substantial acquisition in a company over the percentage which is generally allowed so for example if SEBI allows 10% and you from the back door wants to get ahead with taking up 15-20% right now what malpractices would you do over here directly and indirectly you would appoint somebody else you would say listen go take these shares I'll give you the money keep the shares with you and when I want to sell the shares I'll again sell it via you I'll make the money I'll take that money and I'll give you some shares also don't worry I'll, I'll give you a certain cut out of it why because I have a restriction of not holding more than 10% so I applied some fraudulent means some other means to get to 20-25% or whatever is my desire and SEBI said you are not supposed to do this right so SEBI is prohibiting that even when you are launching a company do not use any deceptive device when they say deceptive device do not use any mean to defraud the investors or the people who are dealing in securities right that is all about section 12a from the next lecture we'll start with section 15 okay guys so i'll see you guys back in the next lecture until then this is abhinay gupta signing off thank you and bye bye